So we're back. Make directory, EJS, right here. Empty right now. Let's do a touch, app.js. Oops. Sorry, cd into it, make dir. Oops, cd into ejs, not talk today. Uh, touch app.js, in, and then npm install express. npm install ejs. Okay. Let's see this guy. Update it, yeah. Next, we're gonna go express js hello world. Um, this is some this is a little bit different in the the Cloud Nine platform. Um, it's it's process env dot port and also the host. You see it's highlighting right there. It's process.env.ip. So let's do no daemon. Cool. And let's see if this guy works. Hello world. Cool. This works. So let's get cracking. Um So we're gonna create a view. Oh, the console. Oops. Victor views, plural. And um, we can just go into the file, just right click, new file. Let's name this uh, home.ejs. And we're gonna create an if and then statement. But let's get it posting first. So, uh, this one. Uh, let's do this as res render, and we call this guy home.ejs. Hello uh, world, this guy. So yeah, it's working. So these are all the views, and it's working. So let's start doing conditional. So first of all, we want to do an if and then statement. So let's start. Now let's just do uh, a long one, like a a big array. So var Post equals to array. Um, we're gonna call this. We're gonna create a title for the array. Call this guy simple post. We're gonna have an author. Let's put that Raymond. Got this guy Peter. Got this guy Bass. And let's call this guy Post One and Post Who. And we're gonna render Post as Post. So we're creating a little mini invisible. JSON. So how are we gonna um, post all these guys into the 
file. We're gonna create a list. So we're gonna do the templating engine is always a money so, um, percent sign. Uh, so it's post for each function. So, and then we're going to create allies. No, yeah, it's not going to be at all. You want percent equal because you want all the stuff to post. So it's post title. And we're post an argument. And we're also going to post the author. Okay. Should be working. Come on. Cannot find match close, but that. Post as post. Post. Oh, there's no, there's an error somewhere. I see. There we go. So we have just uh, rendered the posts before each. Um, EJS is very similar to you know how there's like PHP is like, like that. So it's like similar to that. So I'll just pretend it's this the percent signs, and then this the equal one the percent equal means uh, post data, but the percent without the equal is like server side so it doesn't show I guess Again. Uh, source see it doesn't show it it's like server side it's hidden so so you can hide your logic with GEJS so people won't see your JavaScript which is pretty cool so if you're wondering how you're gonna hide your um, JavaScript within your HTML, you can use EJS like PHP. Very versatile. And um, basically, I'll do this again. I'll put a and horizontal rule. I'm retired. Maybe it's like five o'clock after work for me, and we're gonna do. A for loop. So for it always starts with i equals zero, and it's post length and i plus plus. For it's always like that, and we're gonna post every single i of the title and then we're going to put the author post i dot author okay it's not going to render it because like I still got to put the percent signs so let's do it this so if you're coming from PHP, then it's not that bad. That. Equal. I think Jade is easier, less work. But Jade is more sensitive to spacing, and it breaks more easier. This is you can see it. 
let's try that. And I'm broken. Oh, it's post plural. Okay, let's do no demon again. I'm still broken. Because it's not like anything. What? Hmm. I don't know. Oh, I see them there. The for loops aren't going. There we go. So it's basically a for loop. Don't forget the i. It's adding every single time, and then the length of the array is one, two, three, and then this array is. Is posts go into posts so we're defining posts and posts so and then we can grab posts through that array and we can inject title and the uh, author but the for each is the easier way of doing it so it basically loops everything out wait I was under a conditional what the heck am I doing <laughs> The for loop. Oh, that's too conditional. Sorry. That was the for loop. Uh, oops. Uh, let's create uh app dot get. Let's do. Subreddits or something, ID, just depending the subreddit function, quest stuff, res render, see a pattern here, it's all the same thing. Uh, Reddit, and eh, not Reddit, uh, index, not index, there's so many names. Other, let's call this page.ejs, how about that? And we're gonna call this guy ID. ID. Okay. And then we're gonna call this ID var ID equals required params dot ID. Create a new file called phipjs. Let's go in. Let's create it. Come on. One. And it's gonna do this to so it can spit out. I call this guy ID. So, on. see, cool. Right, cool. Um, let's do like if statement if ID triple equals one. We're gonna print. Cool. Each 
chose one. And else you didn't choose one. So this is the conditional. And we're gonna do the percent signs pretty tedious. So it's just like PHP and Mangolin. Yeah, you can choose Jade if you want. Okay, let's do this again. You didn't choose one. What? Oh, I know, I know what's happening. We have to change this to. Uh, Oh, it converts it to a string, so you have to use number. There we go. Cool, you chose one. So you choose two and go else. Cool. So this is your if and then. This is a conditional, I mean, I did a for each on another one. So basically, um, sorry for not explaining much. We're basically using app get to create the route. ID is like the other like a variable you can put in to check like if there's a variable inside but we're grabbing that number from the, a browser URL and storing it in ID the variable and then the object property ID of ID the object lateral I guess equals to id equals to 1 and then to grab so this goes in here and this is the key when you let me try calling that so id will be 1 Yeah, that's why you not. Pro that's why there's not problem with jobs. It's tedious. Okay, let's try that. You didn't choose one, but you chose this number two. See, like that. So this is my tutorial. Um, till next time, guys. Bye.